perceber que o delírio é Hello, everybody, and welcome to Half True. Look at here, guys. We've got Crash the Milkman and General Strader straight from their podcast, man. How are you guys doing tonight? And we're doing we're doing great, but we did have a question okay. already. Yeah. Did that entrance song was that like the Beatles on meth? Yeah, we were concerned that you found some old Beatles music that no one had ever heard of. <laughs> no, no, actually, a, a friend of mine did uh, uh, did the intro music for me. Um, he knows the band personally that that did the intro music, and no, I'm pretty sure they're not related to the Beatles, man. <laughs> Cool, cool, okay, man. I, I've never met anybody that had a podcast with the entrance of Josie and the Pussycat before. No, no, no. That, that, that's who that was, Josie and the Pussycat. Yeah. Okay, that, okay. Josie and the Pussycats. Oh, yeah. my goodness, man. That's old school, brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, in fact, we are old. We're not old school. We're old school swag. Old school swag. That would be what old that school is. swag. Okay. Oh, I got you. So... Crash, we were talking just before the show, and you were telling me that you are a wrestler. Uh, tell me, how long have you been wrestling, and where are you wrestling at, brother? <laughs> God, it seems like forever. Um, late nineties, man. I got my training in the late nineties. Um, I have to credit Nightstick Eddie Brown, Timber the Lumberjack, and Steve Carino when he was in, and we uh, trained, man, in Steve's uh, dad's wooden ring, that wood frame ring down in Hope Mills at the. By God, hardest ring I've ever bumped in in my life. And, uh, you know, it was uh, the 97, 60s, somewhere around there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, wow, uh, man. It was fun, a man. wooden <laughs> ring. I've never I've heard, heard of a wooden ring. ring before. Frank Carino has a wooden ring. Well, he did have a wooden ring. And Trust this, me. Yeah. Okay. And in, yeah. in late night in ninety nine two thousand somewhere around there we we started our own wrestling promotion yeah and Danger Zone Wrestling Danger Zone Wrestling ran that for about a year or so and uh, worked I night from Durham up to uh, Rono, was yeah Rono Rapids. Rono Rapids. everywhere yeah. <laughs> so how long how long have you two known each other i mean i've i've watched your podcast on 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 uh, <laughs> Man's channel, and it seems like you guys have have known each other forever uh that would be a great we, assumption <laughs> we did we we have yeah i was a deputy sheriff in harnett county he was probation officer in harnett county and we uh, did a lot of work together yeah he took care of my complaints and yeah, I, I'm looking in shock because um, after all those videos I saw, they allowed you to wear a gun, brother. <laughs> oh, dude, 25 years. Yeah, are you yeah. kidding? Me? 30, 36 years. It was. Uh, there are people that probably uh, are not sure why. This is a true story. We pulled up at a store the other day, going to uh, at a wrestling event, and when we pulled up, I looked at the crowd outside and I told the general, I said, "Somebody here, I swear we've arrested. Look at these people." I am not kidding you. We got out. A guy pulls around a whole carload of people, and they're looking at us like crazy. I'm thinking, man, where's my gun at? I don't know what these dudes are doing. He gets out, and he goes, milkman. I'm like, oh, God, who's that? He comes out and gives me a hug. He goes, man, I ain't doing mess anymore, but I remember you, and I remember you, too. You're, you're, you're the gym. You're, you're, you're my probation officer. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. I was a probation officer. Keith had arrested. I had arrested him. And, and we, we get hugs. We get hugs. It and you get hugged. <laughs> we both go in jail. <laughs> one throwed him in jail, the other one helped him stay out of jail. Is that how it worked? Yeah. Well, Something I put like him that. in jail too, but he he, he, he hadn't done well on probation. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, back to the wrestling. My first singles match, they took me down to uh, – Thomasville, North Carolina. I wrestled for New Dimension Wrestling, uh, Chris Plano's production. Okay. And get there. Shane Helm says, you got the bull tonight. And I'm like, I don't know who the bull is. He goes, well, he's not here yet. And 
Marty Garner was there. He come out champagne. He says, "Yeah, you got the bull tonight." He's looking at you. He's. I said, "Okay." I walk in there. I dropped my head, man. I couldn't even look. It was Manny Fernandez, the raging bull. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he wow. Said, Tell me you're green. I said, "Man, I'm as green as green can be." He goes, "You know what a flying burrito is, brother?" I was like, <laughs> "Just listen for it and listen to me." And uh, scared to death, man. I was scared to death, but. After the match, he shook my hand and said, you did good. You listened. And he called everything in the ring. I won't know. Let's discuss this. Let's do that. It was everything called in the ring, brother. Old school. Wow, man. That's great. I was, did you did you happen to get that on video or was that back before cameras? That was back just before Be It Beta, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That would have been. <laughs> if you'd had a video camera, that it would have been one of them that looked like a camera you used in a in – a, a, <laughs> When, when, uh, WRAL theaters. <laughs> yeah, like a projector. Yeah. yeah, when Godzilla was destroying Tokyo for the 37th time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd have had to tote that on your shoulder or something. You couldn't have used them. It wouldn't have been bigger. Actually, no. I do not know if any of that was filmed, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. Well, I got to show you this. Uh, I got to show you this. And uh, I don't know if this is the right place in time, but Arthur said, my mom told me I was, I was the milkman, so you owe me child support. <laughs> With that forehead, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being I honest. I know his mama because I got around a whole lot. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, I mean, it's a good chance. I mean, I'm, I mean, he looks yeah. like he could be my young, and I don't know. Well, I mean, you don't even claim the 14 you have. That's true. That's true. And they're about Sam. Evolved. Sam says, "Hey, General, can I get some insurance?" Insurance is for. Uh, geckos and women. I do sell insurance. It's women. Sam Geckos. Pride. I know who this chick is. Yeah. She got milk fed on her in Sanford. Yeah. I know she did because I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks at me like, I can't believe you did that. Oh my God. There it is. She said, on Friday, can you please not cover me in milk? <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to have to do better than that. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that part of my gimmick. People know it. I bring milk to the ring. Oh, somebody's and, uh, somebody's occasionally, occasionally, well, every show, somebody's going to get hit with milk. What? what I guess I there you go. Milk. Courtney said it. General, your patch is on the wrong eye again. There you go. We're going to change for you, Courtney, because we don't want me to be. She's our number one fan, I heard. Yeah, she's a number one fan. Justin Lee? Well, yeah. you keep throwing milk on her. She, she's got to follow you around, you know. <laughs> It's utterly awesome. It uh, is utterly awesome to have him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! God. What's up? What's up, Alexander? How you doing tonight? Welcome to hashtag Truth Guy. But uh, yeah, I wrestled all through the Carolinas, uh, Georgia. I wrestled everywhere back in the day, and um, very fortunate. I wrestled for the original Omega. Thomas Simpson booked me for that, and uh, I uh, wrestled for NWA, NWA Wild Side, and. Uh, Man, I've, I've lived my dream, and uh, you're still living your dream. Yeah, actually, and uh, I, I had to take some time off. Some people know this story, some people okay. don't. I don't think you do, but in 2009, I was okay. diagnosed with terminal cancer. Oh no! Uh, oh yeah, um, they said, "Milkman, you're gonna live about a year, year and a half." Well, brother, it is 2019. Ten years later, I'm cancer-free, full remission, back wrestling. Yeah. There you go, brother. I'm glad to hear that. That that is a feel good story right there, man. Congratulations, man. And Friday night we'll be at the uh, at the premiere show for Ace. Yes, yes. Ace Friday night. Uh, Alternative Championship Entertainment Friday night, and uh, Rayford, North Carolina, at Hope County High School. It's going to be an amazing show. I I will put it out there uh, because I know you asked me about it. Um, as for that show, me and you. Uh, Milkman was supposed to be commentaries for that show, but unfortunately, I've got family plans that weekend. I've got you know people coming from out of state to come see me, and I'm not going to be able to be there. So, but we will get together and do it, brother. I promise you. What? What? Well, I know you're still going to commentate, aren't you? I, yes. Yes, I'm. I am a commentator. I'm not a boiled potato. I'm not a cow potato. I'm a commentator. Yeah. And, and you actually, you're a commentator. There you go. He, he doesn't have the, 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 the I just got virtually slapped. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you have. So you were going to have to correct him on a lot of stuff. I well, know. yeah, but yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I'm sure. I mean, not anyway. everyone knows when they see a twisting reverse frog splash inverted. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he would have never known what that yeah. was. I would have probably had to hit him with a cane <laughs> board over with anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt that man would have got a cane shot at some point in time. I had to, you know, today I had to <laughs> go to the Federals with a cane shot. I threatened him with a DDT. Because ah, he's such an idiot. <laughs> well, he is from New Jersey. So I, I'm just saying. Just putting that out there, and I'm glad you did. Yeah. Who's, who, who's from New Jersey? Joseph Edwards. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yes, yes, he is. Great yeah. guy, though. Great guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. But every now and then, we have to rough him up. We don't want to. Well, we do want to, but no, no. you you got to you got to explain him the uh, North Carolina South Carolina way, right? You have to yes. explain. There the are Southern. words that exist down here that don't exist anywhere else in the nation, and that that is lot, true. Uh, like you don't know back here. Yeah. Do you know what that word is? Yep. That's when a dog comes into your yard and you don't know who the dog it is. He said, "Get on up out of here." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, kids on your grass. You got yeah, to get or, them off your grass. You can get them out of you here. Right. Yeah. You want a moan back here? Yeah. That's General sitting on the back of the truck going, moan back. On back. back. On back. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I'm from Wisconsin. I was born, but listen, I was born in Wisconsin, raised in the South. So, oh, so you have truck. So, so I'm a glorified, uh, I'm a rebel-fied Yankee is what I am. I'm a rebel-fied Yankee. I like that. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll give you that. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, you still may need a Wisconsin yes, is sir. the cheese capital of the world. That's true. Yeah, it is. And that they is. Four dairy farms in Wisconsin per capita than any other state in the union. And that, we well, like wait it. a minute. Wait a minute, sir. I have to correct you on that one. That is not true. California is now the number one dairy state. We are the are number one cheese state. Yes, sir. California is the number one dairy state. We are the number one cheese state. That well, there you go. Kudos for all the cheese heads. Yeah, kudos yeah, yeah. We, we we're gonna own the cheese, brother. I mean, we love our cheese in Wisconsin. Don't don't well, go, we don't want can't, can't take that from us. Well, one thing. Never mind. Yeah, one thing. Yeah. <laughs> so how's your neck doing, General? Man, I see you got that neck brace on. Tell us the story of how that happened. I was injured in, in a match. Uh, Go ahead and tell them. Yeah. Candy Aries. Candy Aries. Uh, cheap shot him. Uh, knocked me from the uh, side of the ring to the, to the floor and uh, caused some serious neck injuries and possibly some it brain. Was, it was elder abuse. It's elder abuse. And, uh, and this Saturday night, I, I plan to get back uh, that uh, – get, get some payback on that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Please. So, so I'm going to say his name correctly. So, Andy Aries. Yeah, Andy Aries. Candy, Candy Aries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, okay. Okay. Fine. I'll say it your way. Candy Aries got got a hold of you and injured your neck. Now, can I ask another question, sir? While, while we're talking about that, why does your neck brace glow? Uh, because you're the mule. Because I'm the mule, the most ultimate living human experience. Okay. Okay. Enough said, man. He is not. He is a mule. He is not a jackass. He is a mule. Okay. Not I got you. I, uh, so not there's a, a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mule, most ultimate living experience. Yeah. And on the banged up dairy army and banged up dairy farm that we have, the you 3, have thousand acre farm. The, the three thousand acre farm with the uh, three hundred acre lake that we have right behind us here. We have. <laughs> To have a, a mule that runs this place, so that's what we have. The mule, me. Yeah, he's head mule. Head mule. Head ass oh, okay. in charge. Ass in charge, really. Yeah. 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 Here's oh. here's a question somebody wants to know. Mark wants to know why did you hand John Goliath a chair to attack Mark Hazard a couple weeks ago at APW? This man. Wait a minute, you weren't there, were you? I don't know. I, I don't know that. Okay. I had a chair because I had a broken foot a couple of weeks ago and I might have needed to sit down really quick. Okay. John Goliath took that chair for me. 
I did not give it to him. He took it from me. I happened to be holding it in case I needed to sit down really quick because I had a broken foot about it. It was all for his own comfort, really. And see, they try to twist and turn this junk against us to make us out to be the bad guy. Yeah, we are right. givers. We love our fans. We give gifts. We give milk on ball biscuits, especially to the big girls. To the, uh, yeah, because we're going to give milk to the heifers. Yeah, to the heifers. Yeah, so. Yeah. The heifers are at ringside, get milk bones. Yeah. Because they get hungry during the match. Yeah. Some they of them some, get too. Some, yeah, a lot of them get too. And, so, and you know what they do? You know what they do? They no, throw them. You're tell me. They throw them at us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit in the eye. I've, I've been thinking being, of your, your pack just back oh, on yeah. the wrong eye. Just pack on. <laughs> I was, it was, you were getting blurry. I, I was a little dizzy from it. I ain't going to say anything, but I was feeling a little. <laughs> Palpitations. And stuff. I don't know if it's Scott causing me to have palpitations. I don't know. You know, it, it might be, man. I, I, I've been known to do oh, weird things with people on this podcast. Like, so. uh, whoa, what was that? What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. hey, I'm gonna not do that again. That was suggested. Uh, <laughs> do Scott, not, do not ever eat a banana in front of another man. Okay, yeah, that Scott is a darn good looking man, though, isn't he? He is. he is a fine, handsome man, really. He is. Damn fine, handsome man. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I bet he's got some nice orders, too. He does. I uh, uh, okay, let's get back to wrestling, folks. <laughs> more on Ace. More on Ace. This show coming up. Let's talk yes. We got, uh, it's their inaugural show. These boys have put together a package, man, and I'm telling you, they've got a band that's coming down from New Jersey. No, more New Jersey. More New Jersey. Like, but that this band is really cool. There's is it Bruce a, Springsteen? No, but it's just like his half step brother removed twice uncle's aunt. It's his uncle's yeah. aunt. Tommy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're in a band. Uh, I think when I'm the roadie. But they are going to. Um, uh, they're going here's, to. Here's the poster for the show that we're yeah. talking about, folks. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's going to be at the Hope County High School Friday, August the 16th. This coming yeah. Friday night. Uh, they're going to have a band there uh, playing before the show. They're going to have a podcast there. A live podcast is going to be playing there. Yep. Um, I mean, it's going to be fun. Uh, video game, everything, man. You guys are going to want to show up and show out. Yeah, we got some raffles, some giveaways. We um, will be there. And, and <laughs> if you don't come here, just to see us is worth, I don't know, price of admission, really. I think it's worth it. Four times the price of it. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't even know why you came to see anything other than us, to be quite yeah. honest. Yeah. But, yeah. but they got some talent, man. These guys that are coming down, man. We've got Caleb Conley coming down, man. You, Mr. Impact. He was on uh, Impact for several years. He's going to be there. Um, and ECW original, C.W. Anderson is going to be in the house. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, he is going to be in the house. Now, 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 I've got a question to ask you, Crash. Yeah, I because, didn't know. because you keep making jokes about uh, New Jersey, but don't you have on that 3,000 acres, ain't you got a couple of Jersey cattle? Yes. Yes. But they're not in the same pen with the Texas Longhorn. Yeah. The, oh, the Texas Longhorn, we keep them separate. So yeah. you're not crossbreeding? No. 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 no, no. That's, that's God for sake. There are no New Jersey black Angus. I mean, yeah. I mean, Angus's. Angus's. Yeah. Angus's. Yeah. yeah. No Jersey Angus mix breeds. No. no. And no, no Longhorn. We no Longhorn Jersey. Yeah. Uh, and the, the number one rule though, when you come to the banged up dairy farm, is don't milk. Don't milk the bull. You don't want the bull. You, yeah. Um, don't milk. Yeah. You don't want to milk the bull. That that's gonna be a sad day. <laughs> we tried that one time. It was a really bad day for Joe. And we do offer for three hundred dollars. I mean, that's a very economical fee. Cow cuddling. Cow cuddling. We do have cow cuddling here. You can come here. So, so instead of having a, a petting farm, you have cow cuddling. Yes, we can, you can come and cuddle with the cows. and um, We charge you $300 to do that. And, you know, we'll even pooper scoop for you. I mean, yeah, we don't mind. Yeah, yeah. We've got, yeah, we've do, got, you, do you throw in a blanket? I mean, I mean. Of course. Yeah, yeah. We'll it is a pasture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hide blanket. Cowhide blanket, yeah. Cowhide. Oh, very good. Very or, good. Or camouflage blanket, depending on your preference. Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys got it all covered out there. You got a. You said you have a 300-acre pond. You guys go fishing a lot? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah, I was fishing the other day and he comes and gets in the boat with me and we went live and he almost tried to sink me in our 5,000 acre lake. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, I kind of went swimming. I almost, I almost had the uh, uh, boat. General, General, we're, we're, you, you went swimming, correct? You, you did have clothes on. Yeah. Okay. Un unfortunately, I kind of went, fell out of the boat. And into the pond, yes. Into oh, the lake. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not the first time. See, I, I could just imagine you two going fishing out there um, and not using rod and reel. I could imagine you guys throwing well, we, you, you we, know, we, you guys we, are the fishermen that throw the dynamite out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we were noodling, not with the general's noodle, but we were noodling. <laughs> noodling. Yeah, we were noodling. We were going hand noodle and uh but we were at the dam, so it was, you know, like 90 feet off deep when I fell in. But it, it was. It, yeah, you know what you said? Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're uncensored. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It was all right. I got out. I made it. I didn't drown, but a little bit. Yeah. There you go. That's what I was well, talking I was about. Only separate Thank God I didn't minutes. have to give mouth to mouth. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you guys give cow rides? Do do you put a saddle on a cow and let the kids ride around? Absolutely. We have some. We have some bulls that will buck some buddies off. We do have. <laughs> a, 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 I have a nephew that is the head trainer for our bucking uh, stallion, and. Uh, we uh, do have some bulls out here that you can try to take a ride on and try to go for that eight seconds. Yeah, we'll let you go for eight seconds if you can. Yeah, we're now, not. Now, what do they get if they do accomplish eight seconds? A sore ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we have no problem with you trying and you get that sense of accomplishment. And what we're doing when you do that is In we're. Fact, I will. I will write them a certificate. We're building character, and yeah. that's what we do mostly here at the character Bay. building. Character building. And that's yeah. what guys like Candy Aries and Carolina Kid and Old Fool can't big comprehend. Fat, big big fat. Fat, they can't comprehend. And, and, and that's what we're going to try to do with Ace, with the, the guys over there that, that are having problems. We want to build character. Build them up. Build them up. We yeah. want to help these people. Just in. Oh, Milk Man, we're going to have a Milk War. Milk yeah. Post. Jack Postal. I know who that is. He ran like a little girl scalded with hot water the last time I, I, I got my milk out. Yeah. And was screaming, what's the milk, what's the milk, what's yeah. the milk? That, that's another man that needs character building. He needs help. Yeah, and possibly yeah. a trip to Darth Hibby. But that's Possibly. Yeah, but character building is what so many of these millennials have oh, lacked. Yeah, don't even get me started on these millennials. Yeah, and, and so, I, so what can you do? Because I'm a millennial. What, what, I'm I'm kind of a millennial. I, I kind of I'm right on the edge right there. Tell, tell me what you would do. Sixty-five. What are you about sixty? Because you look about sixty. I didn't oh man, thank you very much. I I'm, I'm a hard forty-eight, but sixty, I'll take that. Did <laughs> you just say he was hard? That's kind of, <laughs> that is very disturbing. You're watching. I, I realize now. I gotta watch every word that comes you're, out of my mouth. Watching us. You just that he was, well, I just am disturbed by this as much as anything. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. Like this. I, I, I'm ready to hang up, but I don't want to because I want to hear where this is going. Uh, okay, well, let, let me you. ask another question. Why don't we get right off the topic and, and, and forget about that and talk about? Milkman, you got a Batman shirt on, brother. I thought yeah. maybe you'd have a picture of a cow or something, man. You got Batman. Are you a well, superhero? Very well man? Be Batman. I have been Batman. Have you? Do you not know that he could be? Have you ever seen him in Batman? I have in the my same cow print bandana on. That is that is correct. I have not seen either one. He could be Batman. That's true. You've never seen him in Batman in the same place at the same time. No, that, that is true. But but in the but in the comic books, Batman's rich. So Crash, he's telling me that you're rich. Well, we got a three thousand acre farm and a five thousand acre lake. So, so there you go. And twenty seven herd cattle herd. Twenty seven thousand. Yeah, twenty seven thousand. I, I like how you correct each other, and I like how everything yeah. gets bigger and bigger as it goes. And, and a 19 foot yacht that we put in that pond. Yeah, we got a 19 foot yacht that we put in that pond. Yeah. What, like, so, so tell me about the redneck yacht. The redneck yacht? 
it's it's really nice. And we don't have to row it anymore. We put a motor on it. Yeah, it's a little Minn Kota motor. Um, yeah. Well, now I know you guys are rich. If you've got a redneck yacht and it's got a motor on it, you're definitely full of money. Yeah. We got, we got well, I mean, you know, the, the Black & Decker mixer is, better, is good for more than one thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, but uh, we we improvise. We make do and we overcome and we're that. He taught me that from his military training. Yeah. We bring it into the dairy farm. We bring it to the wrestling ring to help people. When you got six so and do. a half stars and you're the only one with six He is the world's only six and three quarter star general. Six and three quarter stars. Six got, and three quarter stars. Third quarter. The third quarter came from the Brits when I took over the Falkland Islands when they were losing that and I got that war four. Fighting the Falcon War in the Falcon Islands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that, but you can Google that. It's, you Google that shit. It's right there on the Google. I, I will I will definitely Google that, man. I, I want to see the, the proud picture of you. On, I'll, I'll, as a matter of fact, I'm going to Wikipedia that. I'm event. sure it's in there. You know, I probably wrote that in there last night. Because you put it in there. So I, okay. I put it in there there you go. That, that is yeah. true, man. You put it in there. Yeah. So. So, so there you go. Drinking the milk. I love it. So tell me, guys, tell me about your podcast, because your guys' podcast is a lot different from my podcast, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> well, I don't even know how we started doing it. We just started doing it. I think my I pocket dialed Facebook Live one day, and we were just doing what we do. And we were we were traveling around the great state of North Carolina. I think we were in uh, Morgan, Concord or Morgan, Morgan or somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, Burke County, right there there's Hibillies. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, we, I, I said, hey, I'm, I'm on Facebook Live. And next thing I know, he goes, well, we were just speaking. I was like, yeah, it's a general speaking. So it became generally speaking. And we just started, we would pull into a Waffle House and interview somebody. We, I don't know. <laughs> hey, we're going to be generally speaking. Yeah. Why would you let a general to body slam you right now? What? I mean, we we, we tailgated at a Walgreens in Roanoke, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. And we interviewed people in the parking lot. And, there's, and there's, there's no better there's no better feeling than than you know you're going about your day you're 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 going to walk into a store you're not thinking about anything but you know purchasing what you want and then two great looking guys like you walk up you know with, with a camera and, and start interviewing them they got to feel like a million bucks uh, and, and we ask them pertinent questions about wrestling life whatever the, my favorite episode so far we were both we were actually in um. Lorenberg for yes. Cage Pro Wrestling. The ring announcer, who's actually going to be the ring announcer, I believe, for Ace, Mr. Perry Thompson. He's ring announcer for AML. I caught him in the men's room at the urinal. Oh, no. Facebook. It's, it's on my timeline. You've got to watch it. It's, a, it's, it's one of my favorites. You, you interviewed the man at the urinal. I did. I am not even lie about it. You can't get a better better interview than that, really, because you cannot lie when you're. It was uh, not nice. scripted one bit. Oh, I, I I imagine it wasn't. I, I imagine he had a few uh, choice words, didn't he? He did. And I can body slam the stuffed animal, by the way, for you. <laughs> By the way, your good friend uh, Candy Andy just showed up, and oh, uh, he said your uh, eye patch is on the wrong eye again. Well, we can change it; it's not a problem. Man. But, 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 but Candy, yeah. Candy, Candy doesn't. Uh... He, he 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 has a, a a comprehension problem. Oh, he, and what what is that? He he doesn't understand the truth. No, this is the. Crash Tag Truth Podcast, right? So he doesn't understand the truth when we try to tell him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I got and it. Just, I got it. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, one of those guys that just takes a little more time to get, almost have to beat it into his skull. And we, yeah. we have. He likes okay. paint. That's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. In fact, Saturday night in Rockingham, Adrenaline Pro Wrestling, I'll be there. We'll be there. Mr. Candy Aries is going to stretch your match with Cruz Biddle, and Cruz Biddle is going to put him back in the stretcher again. But yeah, the, so, great thing that the hospital is just right around the corner from the match, so yeah. it will not be a, it'll be a short trip for him. It'll be fine. And it's at the rescue <laughs> building, so he won't have to go far to get those ribs looked at again. 
<laughs> Candy said, like y'all cheaters do. <laughs> Cheater. Again. This comes from the cheat. Have you ever seen a cheetah eating Cheetos? I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> he cheats on his fingers are yellow or whatever color he does, orange or whatever. He's Courtney, he's Courtney he's said you two that that you need to prove it Saturday in the ring against Andy. Oh jeez, this chick again. Yeah, I <laughs> what? Just turn on us right now. I can't believe it. But <laughs> Sam yeah. said, "Crash, crash, yeah. give up." You know, you know what rhymes with crash? Trash. <laughs> You know what rhymes with Sam? Damn man, Sam. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Oh my goodness. What's the matter? I think I, I, I think I'm having that big one, Elizabeth. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> well, you're wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> see, they listen to people like Candy Aries and they get the wrong impression of us. We're good guys. We give gifts. We help people. We, we try help to motivate character. people. We build character. That, people that's it. Oh, I just for only three hundred dollars, you can come out to the to the to the milkman and General's Ranch, and and they will give you character. Scott, I just got this text. Uh, your replacement for Friday night is none other than Mr. Josh Gary from AML. So Good choice. At the Good choice. Josh. Gary, I Good hope choice. he has a grasp of the vernacular because if he doesn't, I will call him out on his enunciation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he can't, oh, yeah. Talk, if he can't talk, if he doesn't know the moves, if he doesn't know, if he doesn't know what, you know. I what, mean, have you ever seen the guy? He looks like Pee Wee Herman's stunt double. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think he actually did do, do the stunts in uh, Big Big Adventure. I don't yeah. know. I don't want to know what kind of stunts that was. Yeah, I, well, Pee Wee, you know what they arrest him for? I do. Down in, down in Florida, do. but you know that's yeah. that whole other thing. Another show that'd be another show all together for us, and I don't know if we want to do that. So, no. so Crash, let me ask you a wrestling question: Have you ever, have you ever done the uh, the thing where you uh, go into the ring uh, fighting your opponent and you spray him with the milk truck? Not a milk truck, but this right here, this is my beverage of choice. I bring it to the ring every time, and I can't help it. If people like Candy and a few other people try to take it from me or try to assault me when I'm trying to get a refresher, a breather, a timeout, because there are timeouts in pro wrestling, I mean, it really happens. It, it does happen. Every and day when I'm in the ring, I go like this. And sometimes he needs a break. people in the audience do get covered in milk. It happens. It, when I'm at the ringside, I'll do like this. That's why Jack Poster was on earlier screaming, watch the milk, watch the milk. Because he <laughs> give the timeout signal, I will hand him his drink because he needs some refreshment. Yes. The man. But, my see, face. see, Jason said y'all try to cheat behind his back a few times. No, J J Jason, no. Jason, you, you Jason know what Jason needs? He needs an eye test. Yeah, he needs an eye test, but he needs my favorite kind of milk from Sweet Acidopolis. Sweet Acidopolis, yeah. His stomach, <laughs> his stomach cannot handle regular milk. Okay. To have some problems. Yeah, he's one of those lactose intolerance individuals, and we make fake milk for people like that who can't handle how can, it. How can people be lactose intolerant? Why why would they be that mean to cows? I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, you had the governor of California wanting to kill them all because they were farting too much and causing global warming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, they're just blaming wrong. cows for everything. It's just I mean, wrong. it's just it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. So. Uh, you know, what do you think about Jack, Jack says bang up dairy don't have nothing on the five star uh district? Oh, oh Jesus, that, Jesus. Bunch, that, that bunch, bunch of junkies. Bunch uh, of let me tell you something. Will Batter Bat Bat Badassera? How do you say his name? Will Badassera? Bill Will Badassera? Uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, we don't know. Yeah, and, and, and if they had a real name, they'd use it. And, and the Cave Sidell dude and uh, Felix Feelgood. He can't, you know, he, he when he first started he coming out, he Jesus. was smiling. 
He assaulted you. He assaulted me. The kid comes out and he calls himself Smiley. Who calls himself Smiley? Smiley. Now he changed his name to Felix Feelgood. Now, now, wait like, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Out of all the cows you got out there in the pasture, you do not have one Smiley? No. no we but do. we do have a grumpy and a sleepy. Yeah, we do have a grumpy and a sleepy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. do have a grumpy and sleepy. But, but, and a petunia. We don't know why, but we do have a petunia. Yes, so, 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 do you guys ever have problems with people coming out there and cow tipping? Every once in a while, but you know, the bull kind of takes care of that. Yeah, you know, we and got we, we got a longhorn with a seven inch spread that, that gets gets that cleared out pretty quick. And uh, <laughs> we have a bodyguard. I have a bodyguard. His name is Blackheart, and Blackheart's job here at the banged up dairy farm is to keep an eye on the cows at night. He's out so there right you now. have a watchman. Is it a person or a dog? Yes, it is, it is Blackheart. In fact, he will be wrestling Saturday night as oh, well. Oh, okay, so it is a person. Oh, yes, wow. So, so you have somebody who watches over the flock like a sheep herder. Yes, he is my bodyguard. He's a cow herder. When I started getting hit with Cokes, milk, full, full drinks, uh, you name it, people started throwing crap at me for no reason, I, I had to get a bodyguard. Courtney yeah, we says she's coming cow tipping tonight, just so you guys know. I, I've got the proof if something happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> is she going to be cow tipping one of her friends over? Because I've seen who she hangs with. Oh, oh no. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that was that was that was raw. <laughs> oh. oh. Felix, Felix said, oh, but I did God. beat you, and the general tried to attack me. And well, you did. You you ended up on the ground. So maybe Felix was the one that injured you, General. That was a long time ago. And there was dew on the ground. It was it was it, it was in the fall. I slipped. You you did slip. And <laughs> and that kid, I, I call him a kid. He's basically a baby. He really. lathered himself up with so much baby oil, I couldn't hold on to him. <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, I mean. I think he had on enough Johnson and Johnson. I went to lock up rules. with him and ended up in the in the, in, in, in three rows back. He squirted out of your arms like 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 just a little like a little like a little weed or something. Just pump. Yeah, he had more uh, baby oil on him than Mark uh, had Vaseline. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you knew what we were talking about, you'd think it'd be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So so what do you do for fun out there on the farm, man? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you two do for fun. What we do for fun? Yes. The last time that we got together and did something for fun, I was driving around. I thought it was a cow head. He says it was a panda head. There may be video of that somewhere. Yeah. But uh <laughs> you, you, we went through a drive-thru and then um you ever seen Sling Blade? You go up there and you order. You order, they don't want them big ones. Mm -hmm. They don't want that big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may have confused the people a little bit. Yeah. And then when he's in character and dressed like that and he's driving and got both eyes covered up. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We we get a little we get a lot of looks sometimes. Yeah. So 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 let me ask you something, guys. Do you guys do you guys milk the cows the old fashioned way or do you use machines? Oh, old fashioned way. It's hands on strictly here. Yeah. Hands on. Hands You on. got to get that hand all up in that udder. All up in that udder. Yeah. So so who is your favorite cow out there? Who who's your favorite cow? Mine is my favorite cow is Daisy. Daisy is our oldest cow. She's our nicest cow. She's our original, really. She's our original. She's the mama. Daisy is my favorite. Because she smells good. Yeah, yeah. And her milk is really sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felix said it's called water crash, not baby oil. Better than spilled rotten milk. <laughs> uh, you know, if the kid would drink some milk and realize that push-ups are free, he might, <laughs> he might, he might, he he might be able to build up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the, boy, the, boy's got, the boy's got like what? Uh, Look, a six inch bicep. Yeah, when I saw him the other day, I thought he had he had spaghetti noodles hanging out of his shirt sleeve, but he then he bit one. Yeah, and, and he went to what six inches right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, good God, 
Becca said you guys stick your foot up each other's butt for fun. What do you say about that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh Becca wants to get into it now, huh? <laughs> we done shut her up so many times, it's not even funny. <laughs> you know, she knows she's going to get the milk. She read the back of my pants the other night. <laughs> she wants to get me with what she wants. I may have some pants that have I got your milk on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to be able to keep asking questions because I'm going to have to go to the bathroom here shortly. <laughs> well, you were before the show started. You were asking some backgrounds, and I wasn't going to tell you yeah. this. Even though he is a six and three quarter star general, never, yes. never, never drive on Fort Bragg with this fool. Yeah. He almost got me arrested. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, you got to tell me that story. What happened there? We were coming back from a wrestling event several years ago in Fayetteville, and uh, it was all right. It was right after 9/11. Okay, so they had shut down the All America, shut down my Party cut through, time. and so when I got to my cut through, I couldn't turn on it. So we had to go in the brag on this huge checkpoint. All right, these boys were a little hyped up because it was just a couple of weeks after 9/11, and uh, he's wearing all his camouflage stuff and. Back on I. I might have had a little knife in the car or the Jeep. <laughs> and he's over there yelling, I'm a six and three quarter star general. And the yeah. guy's like, what does he sound like? Nothing. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and You're supposed to st salute me. <laughs> well, to make a long story short, they, they kind of. They threw us out of the truck. Yeah, they kind of got us out a little forcefully out of the Jeep and certain us and searched my truck and he found that little knife and yeah. asked me what it was and he, he says it's a knife you dumbass like, oh we are going to jail now well, well he did ask the question right so you had to answer him I mean you're yeah. being polite to the officer correct Yeah, I was being as nice as I could be you yeah <laughs> and they told us to uh, leave and never come back to Fort Bragg oh wow I, I've never driven across base with this fool again never Never. Wow. <laughs> I've gone. I've gone across base again. It didn't bother me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I went across the next week. No problem. Uh, why do Felix, I? Have... Felix is, is still on you, man. He said, "Why do I have to work out when I can beat you anywhere and any time?" Is, is this a challenge, Smiley? Is this a challenge? Because the last time that me and you got into the ring. I didn't know I was going to wrestle you until 30 seconds before the match. I had no time to prepare. You had all that baby oil all over you. So, I mean, if you want a match, you come in. But Becca said, <laughs> oh, goodness, no one wants y'all. Trust me. <laughs> but but oh, Everyone I, wants us. I could up. say something, but I don't want to make people mad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, uh... Back uh, Anna, Anna says she's never heard of you two being nice. <laughs> then why is she? Never mind. Why did that girl come up and give me a hug the last time? Oh, Anna loves us. She just doesn't want to admit it on, on the air. Yeah, she does. She does. Yeah, she can't help it if she's from Gastonia. I mean, who's from Gastonia? Yeah, basically calls me Papa. I didn't want to say anything out loud, but now I just kept, just calls she me called, Papa. Yeah. So, and that's like, so you went from general to papa. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right, right out like that is what you say. Is. Well, the stro might think that's gimmick infringement. Yeah. Now, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's saying, ooh, no. <laughs> coming from a girl with a dog face. Yeah, coming from a girl has got a dog nose on. Mr. <laughs> I Am Righteous says it was five star water that was on Felix Feelgood's body, <laughs> which is basically baby oil. This guy, <laughs> I mean, that's baby oil in Gastonia. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> in W40, we don't know, really. It was oil-based. Yeah. So, so Crash, tell me, how do you, out there on the farm, how do you prepare for your wrestling matches every week? Oh, I lift the heifers. Yeah, I lift the heifers. Uh, I mean, you know, when, 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 when you're out there trying to uh, milk them and they just don't want to be milked sometimes and, and you have to move them in certain certain ways. And sometimes I get the general to help me, but he's not, be honest, he's not that really helpful. 
sometimes milking the cows. I mean, he's a little more. It, it, does he drink more milk than he than he actually uh, gets out of the cows? Is that what you're telling me? No, he aggravates them more than he helps. Oh, okay. He okay. Around, I use a cane okay. on. <laughs> so, well, well, you know, I I, I can kind of I can kind of you know understand because he's blind in one eye and he kind of runs into them a lot. They they might get a little agitated with that. Yeah, he's uh, blind in one ear and deaf in one eye. Yeah. That, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's uh, you know, when you get to be 129, it's hard to get around out there. Anymore. Yeah, it's kind of contagious like that. <laughs> so, so General, did you ever try to take out your glass eye and feed it to one of the cows? No, no, no. That, no? that glass eye is very precious to me. I won that in a, uh, in a poker game. And oh, uh, What was yeah. her name? Well... You said well, poker? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't talk about her because oh. she was uh, almost married. I'm not going to poker. I didn't bring her. Anyway. I didn't, I, didn't wanna, I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to talk about her because I almost married that girl. She, I didn't marry her. She's one of the ones I didn't marry. Uh, but, <laughs> Courtney says you guys are going to run and cheat Saturday. We do not cheat. cheat. We are the good guys. We help people. We help. We're the motivators, the innovators. We help people we are we build character in people i don't understand why they don't get it they they just don't want we to. give gifts becca right? becca says you guys are going to have a surprise coming up i don't know oh, what that's uh, about but surprise i like surprises surprise me girl yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do Put 20 pounds of food in. <laughs> so so <laughs> So you guys talk about cows all the time. You live on a huge, you know, uh, I think last yeah. check it was like 10,000 acre ranch. Yeah. Um, yeah. How many horses do you guys have out there? Do you guys deal with any horses or is it just all cows? We, we, we have cows and, and the mule. Yeah. yeah. The uh, last horses we have, we parked them in the rear and um, back on Old Town Road. So we are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am righteous. Says I don't like almond milk. We don't. We don't. That's not milk. You can. There are no teats that is on an almond. Fake milk. Have you ever seen? There's no teats on an almond. I like that answer. That no is true. No on an almond. No. I mean, so for you again, I will say it one more time for you weak stomached individuals. There is silk when you can't handle the real stuff. I mean, and, and that's the that's fake, fake milk, milk, right? Yeah, that's that fake milk. Yeah. yeah. But we don't use that word in this business. Yeah. We oh, don't that's right. That's right. That's the al that's the alternative milk. Yes. We don't use the F word in this business. Oh, I'm sorry. So so how do how do you make the alternative milk? Do you know or or you just don't care? We don't care. I don't care. I we don't, don't know care. because I don't drink it. We but I will hit somebody with it. I mean, I, I'm 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 not discriminatory like that. Yeah, we do. Not do, you, do, do, you, do you think that they're suckering everybody? They're just putting like water in there with like dark white. Uh, food coloring or something? They could, and a little bit of flavoring, like vanilla yeah. or whatever. Um, yeah. That's that's what I think. I mean, I, I I I've never had any problems with any kind of dairy product, so you know, I'm just. I mean, it's it's like it's like apple pie and baseball. I mean, it's, it's Americana as you can get. Exactly. Exactly. Right. If I'm you don't like milk, milk, you might might as well be you know from Russia. Somewhere. Exactly. I think he might doesn't drink. Courtney milk. says you guys don't like using the word that describes you guys the most. The the F word. They don't like using the words of what? Awesomer, dumb. <laughs> I'll even say Dynamic. Let, let, let's even speak it in Spanish. Uh, muy guapo. Yeah. Uh, hombre Tremendous. de la leche. Baby. Hombre de la mucha leche. Tremendous. That was man of much milk. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so have you ever, have you guys ever decided uh, to take your show into Walmart? Because I would love to see you guys go into Walmart. We have, with done, the, that. We have, done, we have that. done that. And we have talked about doing it again. And we are talking about locations all the time. In fact, there's been four or five little pop up copycat shows in, in recent months. Uh, and, oh, what, it, I mean, a handful of them, and they all say, "Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that." Oh crap! They ain't done nothing. We, but uh, especially that Carolina kid and his his, his style. Joe, uh, Joe yeah. wants to know why you guys jump people. Jump people. That's what it says. You know who that is? 
That party Joe. Why don't why don't he have his uh, leprechaun hat on? Yeah. That party <laughs> Joe. Party Joe. I'm sorry, but we inducted a new member into the banged up dairy army uh, last time in Rockingham, and that was the Axe. He comes with an axe. He's the protector of the trees on the farm, and uh, he was just in the way. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, he was just in the way. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't really party that hard. No. So, so you say he wears a leprechaun. Why does he wear a leprechaun hat? Do you know? He calls himself Party Joey. Wears a little sparkly leprechaun hat. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's something you have to ask him. I mean, I didn't ask him what color his underwear was. Probably fruity color. Oh, oh no! I know this is gonna stir you guys up. Felix says, "I think you guys are a. Uh, uh, I think Banged Up Dairy is a five star wannabe group." Uh, <laughs> they call themselves Five Star. There's only yeah, four. Of them. There's only four of them. I mean, that's the <laughs> in the count. They, they, they have a math. They have math dyslexia. Yeah, <laughs> they have math dyslexia. Just, okay. Yeah. They, 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 I mean, they there's four of them, and they call themselves five star. I mean, who does that? Jack says he's coming to the show to pour buttermilk on you. That's fine. That's buttermilk fine. is perfect. I bring some buttermilk corn? in my protein shake. Can you, you bring some? Can you bring some cornbread with that? Yeah. Can you bring, bring some cornbread corn with that? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll chow down. Yeah. That's so good. so <laughs> so. That's that, that's a bad thing. Yeah. yeah so we'll so there on the farm, you got all these cows. Now my, I was raised on a on a dairy farm. A lot of people don't know for a couple of years with my grandfather. And he used to churn. He used to churn his own milk. Uh, his own butter. Do you guys yeah. do that there? Yes, we do. Yeah, we churn our own butter. We do our own cottage cheese. We do our own cheese loops. We do everything here. We do, you, are... do you guys have an extra bedroom? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a loft in the barn. We have a loft. Hey, in the barn. that'll work, man. I'm on my way right after the show. We have a loft in the barn, and we have. You don't even have to pay me. I'll milk the cows as long as you feed me. I'm good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we studied at NC State University's Howling Cow Dairy Farm. Yeah, the best NC in the State farm. University's Howling Cow Farm. Yes, they have Howling Cow ice cream. It is the best ice cream in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so, so uh, do you guys, do you guys make your own ice cream? Uh, like the Howling yet. Cow? Not, not yet, yet, but we're we are we are we are starting to venture out. Yeah, we're thinking okay. of other products we can have. We do have our own, and this is no lie. I will post the link on your page and my page and his page after this. We have our own bedding supplies. You can get shower curtains, underwear, socks, pillows, bed sheets with our images on it. Yeah. Our face. Our face. You can sleep <laughs> with oh, it's us. True. You, you can, can sleep be, with us, Courtney. Yeah, you can have so, my face, so, face on it and sleep with us tonight. So I watch a lot of shows uh, that have to do with farming and that, and, you know, you put the bull in, in, in the pen with the cows, you guys are going to have a few uh, little uh, cow babies. Yeah. Have you guys had to go out there and actually, you know, do the cow thing where you got to pull them out? We may have had to separate a few. Yeah. <laughs> um, we may have had to separate a few, but there is no – no artificial insemination going on here at the right. Dairy Farm. No, no, no. What I'm saying is when, when, when the babies are being born, have you ever had to go oh, in and pull out the baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's no problem. Yeah. We don't mind blood. Yeah. Okay. That's Candy Aries. Yeah, we don't okay. mind blood. Have, yeah. you, have you ever had to, uh, like, you know, have, have you ever had one go so bad that you had to call in help, that you had to get, you know. Oh, we can have one thing. Yeah, one was born with a gigantic big toe. And uh, we had to call a big coach truck for that. Yeah. 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 We had to call You yeah. had to call a tow truck for the big tow. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I big love it, guys. Yeah. yeah. Big tow truck. Yeah. yeah. You have to get yeah. the right tool. Not a camel tow, but a big tow. <laughs> Here, Brandon just come on. He said, somebody tell the captain his eye patch is on the wrong eye. Scott Larson, tell the man what yeah. I said. Yeah. 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 You I can't will... read good out of that eye. You can't is read good the out one of you knocked out. Or is he the other one? I'm not sure, but if he doesn't know what my rank is, I can't change the patch. Oh wow! <laughs> I heard that. I mean, I mean, it, it it is right there on the screen for everyone to read. They can't see 
He can't. In fact, is General Raider straighter, to be honest with you? Is General Raider straighter, to be honest? If he doesn't know the my rank, I cannot change the patch. It just can't be done. No. Uh, Some things Party, can't be done. Party Joe says he's also got a hat made out of cowhide. Then he's got a quality hat. He has got one of the best hats he can have. I'm proud of you, Joe. We love you, brother. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Evan That's wanted us to tell you guys hi. <laughs> hi, Evan. <laughs> no, I'm not, but hi. <laughs> Anna says old man and milkman suck. Okay. <laughs> You you no, got you've got not. some haters out there, man. I mean, for oh, for a couple yeah. of good guys out on the farm, you guys have got some haters. These are these confused individuals that they, show up at these shows thinking that, that 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 we're all I don't know, but we're just the gift givers. We're the we're the good we, guys. We are basically salt of the earth and some of the sweetest people you'd ever want to meet. Yeah, I love basically, this guy. Basically. I mean, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine, you know, how nice you guys, how, how nice you got, how much nicer you guys could be coming to a show. I mean, if I'm gonna go and pay five, ten, fifteen dollars for for a wrestling show, and somebody gives me a gallon of milk, whether it's in the container or not, hey, and dog biscuit, there you go. milk bone dog biscuit, you get milk and milk bone dog, dog biscuit. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes the kids get the best candy there is, cowtails. Cowtails. Yeah. There, oh, see, oh, there milk you dog. go, man. Sometimes we give out milk duds. Yes, milk duds. I mean, we have given those things out freely. Freely. Them At our own, own money. Own I'm telling you, we're doing the Lord's work. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam's changed her mind now. Now you guys are utterly awesome. <laughs> see, we knew she would come around. <laughs> She is a sweet child. She I is. mean, well, I knew when I met her in, in Sanford, she was a sweet child. Yeah, I didn't know she was 10 years old then. No, I didn't know that she was 10. Yeah. She's in her, in, in, in her mom peaches or something, was her? Yeah, peaches and cream. Peaches. I don't, I, I don't she is. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon wants, wants to know why has the milkman cut his hair? Heat, heat, heat for this good, sir. Shame, shame. Did you cut your hair? You trimmed it. I trimmed it. All right. Here's the deal. Mr. Black is Jack. You know Black is Jack. You, do you know Black is Jack? I know who Black is Jack is very much so. The fools start telling everybody that he has the best hair in the indie wrestling business. That, which is a lie. In the pro wrestling world, which is a lie. I had the best hair. He was jealous of my hair. He starts sending me messages. He starts texting me. So you know what I proposed? I proposed a hair versus hair match. We did. We did. We did. He has not accepted yet. Refused. I did have to get it trimmed for a job interview the other day. Um, uh, And I I did get it trimmed, but it is still art hair. This hair should be framed in a gallery, and people should be paying to see my hair. Are you kidding me? This is art hair. He pays like $150 to $200 to have that hair styled. This so so awesome. wait a minute. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How? Why would you have to go get a job if you live on a ten thousand acre farm with twelve thousand cattle and all this milk and products you're selling? Why would you need a job? Should I tell him? Tell him. I'm an artist. I do artwork, and it was actually for a gallery. I'm not giving you. You do you, you paint cows? I paint anything. Okay. Yeah, I paint your wife. Okay. Wife. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the man is a superstar artist. He has. You can go to you're, you're the Picasso of the milkman, right? He go, is a, go to fineartamerica.com. Look up my real name, Keith Adams. You'll see. He is a he is he is a one of the finest artists in America today. Wow, I, I will definitely do that. I will definitely look that up because I am utterly interested. You should be utterly interested. I'm glad you put that reference in there. Yeah, and Blackfish, <laughs> I'm still waiting for your answer because you're going to lose your hair. I'm not losing it. Evan, Evan said that you need to get your money back because your haircut sucks. It was $150, and he does not need his money back. That is a artful haircut. This is a man that obviously needs some culture in his life. It is. It is. Felix Feelgood says he has the best hair in wrestling. 
Felix Feelgood? Do you know who he actually looks like? Look like Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Justin like, Bieber, yes, like sir. Bieber. He 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 has recently got a haircut and uh cut cut a cut a little bit of it off and and his look is a little different now, so so he's not as Justin Bieber. So we will see him on right. Friday night at, at the at the ace. Uh, yes, he will be there. Yes, he will be at Ace. He will be tagging. He will be tagging with uh, Max Carnage, who I will have on the show tomorrow night. So, yeah. thank you for Felix leading me into that. To? Who is Felix losing to Friday? <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know. I, I'd have to look that up. You got who he is fighting on, on your on your. Who's, who, who's he fighting? You you have all the other information. I do, have, I do happen to have the card in front of me. Hold on. Ah. Oh. We have Cam Carter come in versus Mark Hazard. Okay. That's going to be a good match. We have, uh, oh, my God, James Ryan versus Dave Dawson. There that you is, go. That's going to be a good match. And, uh, oh, let's see. Where is that match? While yeah. you're looking up that match, I'm, I'm going to read this one because it's kind of long. I am righteous, said, I'm glad to see that you two can count, but you were obviously uncultured. From what you said, Daisy would be a five-star cow, and she is the best at giving milk and whatever else you can find in her that makes her your favorite. In short, five-star is simply the best. <laughs> the man is obviously delusional. He Obviously, he... <laughs> Obviously, he, he hasn't taken his his uh, medication today, and uh, he needs to go see his psychiatrist. And uh, if he needs help getting there, we will provide. I'll call. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he lives in Gastonia. I will call the mental health people down there and have his trip made up for him. It, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the match that uh, Mr. Smiley is in is a four-way tag match. So he's losing to three other people then. Three, three other, other tag teams. Three other tag teams. Okay. Yeah, so you got third degree versus Icons Unlimited versus High Profile versus International Superstar. So they'll be knocked oh. out probably pretty fast, in other words. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. Then we have time to go do some push ups. Then you have time to go do some push ups. Well, maybe his cute girlfriend will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam said for your haircut, that is an utterly expensive price. <laughs> well, he has to pay a lot to get the style that he's getting. And I'm not even going to ask her about her $5 haircut. Evan said, tell the milkman I'll see him Saturday night at APW. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I will be there. We will be there. And full black and white regalia. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, Jason, Jason said, Leroy is to get involved in any match. I ref again. I will throw you out. This guy did. Jason, why is he so angry? He is supposed to be impartial. Exactly. He's supposed to be a ref. Refs are supposed to be impartial. And here he is already creating himself saying that he is going to be partial. Exactly. So he it's should be wrong. fined, restrained, Restricted, not allowed to ref any matches yeah, ever again, until he really. goes back through special referee training because that is not being impartial. Stating that on Smiley, on the Smiley says he's definitely not going to lose to on the on the yeah, and then he said boom baby on top of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of those uh, Justin Bieber lyrics, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Justin Bieber thing. Yeah, yeah. And all the all those four star guys say that. All those four star guys say that. Yeah, that's a. Anna says that uh, Felix is going to win, and she also said, boom, baby. Sam Sam came behind her and said, boom, baby. Oh, jeez. They're all – Anna awesome. said he ain't no loser like y'all. <laughs> Boy, these guys are harsh on you two, man. They, they just they just have they're no just character. Babies. They just, just have babies. no character. And they're, 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 of, of all the uh, grandeur and all the milk and, and the lifestyle you guys live in. They are ashamed of our they're, – they're jealous of our lifestyle. But Sam's mom, Peaches, she knows the deal. She does. She I mean, is, general. I mean, general. Show them what you drink out of this. This. This will tell you how classy these guys are. Look at this. The bullet. The bullet. Right he here. Bullet. bullet. Look at that. He drinks out of a bullet. That is high. A gold bullet at that. That's high class. And I have a missile. 
I'm not going to show you the missile because I have to no, get up. Do not show don't want to get. Don't want to get up. We don't right. want you to stand up, brother. We're good. You're good. Sit, sit right. Uh, there. Don't want to get up. Show do not missile. pull your missile out. Don't want to pull my missile out. But uh, yeah. Um, ah, yeah. <laughs> That's some refreshing milk in the missile and the bullet. The people are crying about almond milk. I mean, what do they put in their cereal? Water or beer? I mean. <laughs> I put good old I put good old fashioned milk in mine, man. I, that, I ain't gonna lie to nobody. As a matter of fact, I had a bowl of cereal about fifteen minutes before we came on air. You want me to be See, honest with you? I knew you were a smart man the first time I saw you. Well, you're <laughs> practically a genius. I didn't want to say anything, but you know, other than that Wisconsin thing, you're you're a genius. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wisconsin is the chief. Yeah, I lived, I lived around a lot of cows growing up. I'm not gonna I'm not yeah, gonna lie. That's, I, that's a positive. Yeah, he's a little cheesy. A little cheesy. Yeah. Had had a few ex girlfriends who I who I'd claimed to be in that class too, but you know, hey. <laughs> well, you know, there you go. You know, hey, if, you know, if I would have known the milk bone thing back then, I probably would have done it. I probably would have threw a few. Well, I ain't gonna lie to anybody. They have they have a uh, uh, bone meal with them, and that gives you extra stuff for your for your teeth. And and I bones. will, I, I will bring little packets of mayonnaise to put on the bone meal. I mean, the milk bone the people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It helps it go down easier. It, it does. It, it, it's a little smoother, I guess. I don't know. I I, I wouldn't know from experience or anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, we um. But like I said, yes, I have been wrestling a, a long time. He is my manager for a long time. We've been friends for a long time. We run this farm for a long time, and we're going to be around for a long time, regardless of what people say. Yeah, or, or what they think. We don't really care. Yeah, we basically. Don't care. Yeah, that would be the main thing. And well, well, well be, before we before we go here in a little bit, I want you guys to again plug your uh your your podcast. Tell them where they can find you because I'm telling you, if, if anybody out there who don't know who these two are, who is watching the show or is going to watch the show later when it's uh put on my on my page. These guys are hilarious. I, I'm not going to lie to you. These two will make you bust a gut. You will roll over. They are two of the funniest people. And, I, and I'm saying this in all seriousness now. These guys, if you're having a bad day, go watch Generally Speaking because you will not come away without a smile on your face. Go ahead and, and plug yourselves, guys. Basically, we uh, are not doing it on a podcast format. So what we do is we go live on Facebook. Um, either my page, follow me at Keith Adams, um, and, uh, and or him at Conrad Strader. Um, maybe you could put up our pages on your uh, page so people can find us easy. And, I will uh, definitely do that after the show, no doubt. What we, what we do is we uh, go live on Facebook, and uh, sometimes we announce it before we go to let people know. Sometimes we don't. Yeah. Um, and there is no telling, trust me when I say this, no telling where the next one's going to be. But at wrestling events, we normally do live broadcasts from the wrestling events. Um, last time in Rockingham, we had a little boy who just beat cancer. His name is Zachary. He's five years old. We did generally speaking live in the ring, got him in the ring, and we all sung happy birthday to him, everybody out there. And uh, it was That's a really true. cool moment to do. And uh, then we took care of business. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> And, that and, is and, awesome. I've got yeah, to show you guys this one because uh, I'm a guy who likes informing people. So Evan is going to inform you guys that Andy is going to have a brother coming Saturday night to APW. See you soon. That's all he has, yeah. All he has to say. Yeah. I've heard about this. Uh, you know how they say imitation is the, is, the, is the biggest form of flattery? Yes. I've heard about this Bray Wyatt new character wannabe giggles that's coming. Yeah. Or whatever he is. Yeah, yeah. I have already heard the rumors. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nothing gets past these ears and that nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one eye sees everything. Or this, hold on a second. It's on the wrong eye. Yeah, yeah. This one eye sees everything. You see this eye? You see this yeah. eye? He keeps yeah. his eye on it. I keep my finger in this eye and it sees everything. <laughs> it's all knowing eye. It's all knowing eye. There you go. Be be careful leaning forward like that, though, General. I don't want you to hurt your neck anymore. I want you to get better. I, I got the brace on. I got it on a little tight. I'm choking, but I didn't want to say anything about it because I'm, I'm going to pass out. Yeah, we, yeah, the, just, yeah, don't do that either driving home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, sometimes I like to pass out when I'm driving a truck pretty much. Oh, so. it's not giggles. <laughs> L-O-L. Well, he just laughed when he said giggles. Yeah. I wonder if he tickled his funny bone. Yeah. <laughs> he thought it was freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, 10,000 comedians out of work, and he's got jokes. Yeah. Sam said, Milkman, I want to let you know I do love you. You are amazing. I will always trash talk you because I can. There you go. Love you too, girl. But you know what? The reason you can is because you got such a big mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 Sam, Sam. That's okay, Sam. That's why I got a talk show because I've got a big mouth. So it's not a it's bad thing. I'm not that's not a necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, oh, so what's your next adventures? If I'm not being too nosy, uh, do you guys have plans for your next podcast that you could put out there, or is it just random and you guys just do what you do on the fly because that's the way you do it? We we have been threatened by another couple that claims they are going to some imaginary farm. They really don't know what a farm is. They've never been to a farm. They don't. They only eat food from the. Uh, box aisle in the grocery store. Yeah. They, um, they don't know what real food, food is. Yeah, they, they only eat canned um, food. They, they've never been to a farm. They claim they're going to this farm to do this show about us. They've been saying this for six months. Possibly a year. Yeah, maybe a year. But I'm flattered that they feel so... They, they tried to do an imitation of our show. It didn't work. It, it's dull, boring, and kind of stupid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all in the morning. Yeah. And they claim they're going to this farm, but we really are on a farm. We really are in the country. I really have found our next location. I told you about maybe in Sanford, North Carolina. Right, right. Um, you just never, never know. Um, and, and that's the one thing that's fun about watching. Generally speaking, is uh, like I said, you know, uh, one of the videos that I love the the most that you guys have out that I just laughed at because I do it sometimes. Uh, me and my wife does it sometimes as we're just driving down the road. We don't record each other doing it, but we can record each other yeah. just dancing I away the songs. Those loving relationships. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were just dancing along to the radio and recording yeah. and having a good time, man. I I enjoyed that. That was that was comedic genius to me, man. We um we did one of those, and we went all over the state. But I'll go ahead and share the uh, cinematic. Uh, secret here. We never never left my yard. <laughs> yeah. In yeah. fact, we never moved. We you guys moved. weren't even moving. Yeah. We never moved. We sat in my truck with the air running, with the radio going, <laughs> and pretended to drive all over the state. We never moved out of the yard. That makes it even funnier. <laughs> I even dodged two deer. We dodged deer and an alligator. <laughs> and an armadillo, those armored possums. Yeah, an armadillo. We we saw an armadillo. I don't know that we have those in North Carolina yet, but we dodged them. Okay. Do you do you guys ever have to deal with uh, snakes in your area, or getting the cattle or whatever? Had one in the goldfish pond this week. <laughs> he ate my frogs. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> had to get them out. He stuck so, it with them red belly water snakes. He smelled like candy airy. Yeah. And, oh, uh, God. No, yeah. not candy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. But it ain't the bullfrogs. I'm not happy about that. Oh, no. Not the bullfrogs. Come on, yeah. now. That's I mean, good yeah. eating right there. I mean, you guys have frog legs off? Yeah. You gotta... <laughs> yeah. So, yes, we do have critters. We have snake. We have everything out here. Oh, hey. man. <laughs> we got a bat house. We got bats. I mean, he's a little batty. Yeah. But <laughs> I got on the back porch. I'm trying to raise out to eat, but there. Well, you, you thought know. one was a cat for six months. It turned out to be a fat raccoon. Yeah, a fat raccoon, but I, <laughs> it was so pretty. I finally killed him and ate him, but that was okay. Uh, <laughs> man, I could do this. I could listen to you two for three hours if I had the time, brother. But unfortunately, our time has run short. But, but, but remember, Friday night, Ace. Rayford, North Carolina. Rayford, North Carolina. Hope County High School will be there Saturday night. Let me, let me, put, up, let me put up the show uh, poster while okay. you guys are explaining. There you go. Ace, Alternative Championship Entertainment will be Friday night at Hope County High School in Rayford, North Carolina. Um, you like rock music, there's going to be a really cool rock band playing before the show. And uh, 
Uh, doors open at 6 p.m. So come on down. Lot, great family entertainment. It's uh, and a great card. A lot of lot of amazing talent it on is. this show, and the boys have worked really hard to put this show together, and it's going to be really really cool. And um, I'm looking forward to. Um, to be there. Yeah, I, I am looking real forward to being down there. And uh, Saturday night, and we're going to get to see you. But since you, you know, you, uh, we check you, it know, out. Hey, you know, check it out. Didn't want to be there. <laughs> you know, if we get to be there and see you. We we'll, we will. Hey, we're going to get verbally slapped. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I deserve all of this, I guess. I guess I do. I I really want to be there, guys. You have no idea how badly I want to be there. I want to cry. It, it, it is so bad. Hopefully, um, in the future, we will get a chance to work together. Yes, we definitely will. I promise you that. I, I promise you that will happen because. I, I would love to do commentary with you. Um, there's a few other people that want to do commentary with me, and, and I'm just flabbergasted that anybody wants to put me behind another mic other than this one. <laughs> but it, it's fun. It, it is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I know Ace is going to be a good show. Go to the Ace uh, Facebook page and check out all the great matches that we're talking about. Check out everything they're doing. They have um, – the entranceway that they're building. They're building their own entrance. It is amazing. I've seen it. It's lit up, and they've got a video of that. It is It is going to be a, a, a spectacular show. I, I dare say it's going to be WWE uh, Raw-like it, yeah, when, yeah. When, when it's all said and done. And it's the gonna production be value of this show is top-notch. No it doubt. Is, is no top-notch. doubt. And every time we talk about it, I want to cry even more. <laughs> And then Saturday night, we'll be in Rockingham, North Carolina for Adrenaline Pro Wrestling. Um, somebody will get hit with milk. Yeah. Um, don't know who. <laughs> don't care. Don't care. But it will be someone. Um, but, yeah, uh, you check out. Uh, now, at the A show, you guys got to make sure that the rock band stays hydrated. So I would go yeah. and get them some milk, too. Yes, we will. I will have the pink milk. I will have the chocolate milk and the white milk. I don't discriminate. So yeah. so you like you like strawberry milk? I do. Yeah. Oh, I love strawberry milk, man. That that yeah. is beyond my favorite. Yeah, the Nest Quick and I love the the strawberry you 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 I mean you got to have your yuhu. Yeah. Right? Without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. You is not bad in cereal either. No, it's not. It's not. You doesn't go bad with anything. <laughs> well, you is the universal milk really. Yeah, as long as you don't it, it has rye flavor in it, which yeah. I know has got to be good for something. Yeah, it's just, just don't eat it with Brussels sprouts. No, no. <laughs> just don't eat Brussels sprouts would probably be the answer to that. Good with bacon. Yeah, probably. Without a doubt. Well, everybody, I'm going to give you about five minutes to say goodbye to these guys. I know everybody's going to want to say goodbye before they leave the show. They've been giving you a hard time the whole show. I'm glad you guys came on. I really appreciate this. This has been a barrel of fun. I knew it would be the first time I spoke to you. And when I started watching your videos, you have got a lifetime fan in me. I will watch, generally speaking, every time you put it up. Um, it's definitely on my list of podcasts that I that I check every day to see if you know they, they've went live or what have you. And you guys keep up the great work, man, because – You guys make every day fun for a lot of people, man. And I love both of you guys to death. I I love the comedic act, the whole nine yards. And uh, you guys are welcome back on Hashtag Truth anytime you want. Look here. You even got a fan in Fozzie Bear. Look at that. Wow. I I, kind of thought you were going Bray Whitey on us. No, 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 no. Fozzie Fozzie shows up every once in a while when when there's really good guests. If Fozzie shows up, you're a really good guest. So Fozzie really likes you. He's shaking his head yes. (laughs) Sometimes Mr. Moo Moo shows up. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Moo Moo. Okay, before we go, you got to tell me who Mr. Moo Moo is. Well, that's very, very similar to Fozzie, but he's Mr. Moo Moo. And okay. he has been known to attack somebody in the mandible before. He he has done the mandible fall before. Yes. Oh he, no. He has his tag team partner. Yes. Mr. Moo Moo does come out of case. So so Fozzie shows up to all the EWF shows and he bites fingers. So when the wrestlers point at him, he bites their fingers. So yeah. 
We might be able to put a tag team together here, manage a tag team. Dude. You never know. Ozzy and Mr. Moo Moo. There yeah. you go. That's, that's what I'm talking team. about. That's a tag team match right there. I'm there, liking there you that. Go. I'm liking that. Yeah. There you there go. go. See, I might have a tag team partner for you, Fozzie. Look at there. And his name is Moo Moo. Yeah. So will, that is awesome, guys. I will shoot you a picture of Mr. Moo Moo soon. Oh, I would definitely love to see that. I'll even put that on uh, my hashtag truth page. Felix says, see y'all Friday. Yes, I think he will. Yes, he will. All right, guys, that is the end of our show. We are out of time. Like I said, I appreciate you guys coming on. You guys can come on anytime, uh, basically, that you want to. I had a blast. I know everybody else did. Uh, this was an utterly great experience. That's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head because there's so many cow jokes going on in my comments right now. <laughs> hey, it's bovalicious. It's bovalicious for sure. There you go, guys. All right. We will see you tomorrow night, everybody. When Five Star Districts Max Carnage will be back oh, on oh, hashtag. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, the show will not be as good tomorrow night, but yeah, you know, do the best you can. That's all I can tell you. Uh, okay, yeah. I will definitely do that, man. And you guys have a great night. We'll see everybody tomorrow night for Max Carnage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, honestly. Man,